Yesterday we looked at how to use a saw blade by itself with nothing else safely in order to cut down lumber that we're going to need to build a frame. Today we're going to make the easiest frame of the two and that is a bow saw frame. Now it's very simple to take a saw blade and build a bow saw frame for that. The most difficult part is going to be if it's the wrong time of the year. We know that when the sap is flowing in the middle of the summer and the trees are growing that they are much more flexible than in the dead of the winter when the wood is actually frozen. A lot of times that wood is going to crack very easily. So we really need to find that balance and we might have to mess around a little bit with the wood selection in order to get the right thing. But it's a very simple, easy process to make this bow saw frame in the field and you can do it real quickly if you pick the right wood. One of the most important things that you can keep in mind when building any frame, if it's a backpack frame, if it's a saw frame, is that material should only be a little bit bigger or the size of your thumb. If it's too big and it's too bulky, it's just too hard to use in the field. So there's a lot of strength in just small wood. So something the size of your thumb, maybe a little bit bigger, is all you ever need. Don't go too big with this. What I did here was I took my bow saw blade and I cut down a small birch sapling. Now I'm gonna look at this sapling and see where it it's bending best. So I can see in this area, I get nice flex on this, enough that I can fit my blade in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just take my blade and give it a quick measurement according to where it was bending the most. And then I like to give it about a hand's width on each side of extra material. Now we have the frame itself. You can go ahead and clean it up as much as you want or let it as rough as you want. What I do like to do though is put a straight lash about an inch from each side, okay? And that is important because we don't want this to split out during use. Now that we have straight lashings on each side of our bow saw frame, we can go ahead and split out the wood. What you need to think about though is this is going to bend over like a saw itself. So we need to think where we want that blade to lay. So in my case, I know the direction I want this to bend because I already started to bend this before and I can see it's this way. So I need to think that I want my slices into this wood to be up and down, okay? So right like this, we're gonna just split out these ends. If you have a knife, it's gonna be that much easier. If you don't, you're gonna have to take your saw and split this out. As you can see at this point now, the straight lash is stopping that from splitting out and that's really important. What we need to next think about though before we bend this is how are we actually going to keep this blade held in? So there's a couple different options that we have for this. Me personally, if I'm carrying a blade, I like to carry two key rings with me. I think the key rings going on here work really well and it just allows very easy setup and it gives me something to pull on if I need to in order to get this in place. Another option is just a small green stick. We can just slide that in here and that will work as a stop. So in this case, I'm gonna use the key ring and the stick, both will work just fine. You can see how each works in action. I have my stick all lashed up with my cuts in it. I'm also gonna take my blade, one end with the key ring, the other end I am putting a small stick through. I'm gonna just feed that through that slit I made now. So it's very simple to do this process at this point. Just doing that and pulling this tight. Now we have that on one end. Now you need to be very careful during this bending process. This is when the majority of the sticks break. I like to put one end down on the ground and slowly start to just work this end over, just trying to feel the wood without it breaking, okay? So I'm leaning this over. Now I'm gonna just find my gap that I created and slide that in the second part of the blade and let that catch. Now we created our bow saw. Now my bow saw is created and I can go ahead and start to cut wood with this. One thing that you need to remember when creating a tool like this is the fact that this is not going to be as good as an aluminum bow saw frame, okay? But it's gonna get the job done. If you take your time and you pick the right wood, you can get it very close and you can get it that once it dries out that you can continue to use it and have yourself a really nice frame. But you need to think of this as a field expedient. You're carrying this blade, you're not carrying the frame because you're trying to save on weight and clutter in your kit, but yet you can still put something together to use that saw blade effectively. So let's go cut down some stuff and see if it works.
And that's our bow saw. Quick, easy, and efficient. Something right from the landscape. If you have a blade, this is way better than holding that blade. We just build a simple bow saw frame and we have at it. You saw me here, I cut a four inch down piece of wood. I cut a live sapling and this thing is going good. So you just gotta take your time with it and it cuts like a champ. So give it a shot, tell me what you think. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until next video, stay in the woods.